And next up, we got a girl who is very, very popular with Mexican ranks in Montserrat Conejo, but Cheyenne Baez. Cheyenne Baez. I think that's an absolutely credible, credible fighter. When you look at the way that she she's fought her last few UFC fights, I mean, let's be real. I, I think she's going to dominate. It, she's probably the biggest favorite on this card, and rightfully so. I, I think that when you look at the competition, you know, size-wise, she's going to beast out of this fight only five and one but when you look at the competition compared to Montserrat it's it's the real deal right I, I think that the wins over you know the LFA win against Rebecca Adney things like that they, they stand out to me you know even though it's been a good couple of years I just see that contender series win transitioning very well into the UFC uh, you know not a huge finisher right in those fights but she's proven to have the wrestling she's shown to have the all-around ability to kind of push that pace and dictate her own game plan i think where we're going to see some of the jujitsu and stuff like that come out of ruiz is, is very much on the ground right uh, i think that there's no real crazy opportunity for her to be able to completely out grapple or anything like that but when you look at the numbers both these girls just it's going to be, whether it's a standing fight, you know, Bays has such a good, good lean there. I think that that happened. Look at the numbers, right? Six strikes landed per minute. You know, I, I think that's a huge, huge, huge significant strike ratio when you're thinking about six to two, right? And that to a jiu-jitsu fighter, like, let's look at this card from top to bottom. And you could probably handpick the fighters that the UFC does not want to see lose. And the fights that they're being given very much kind of dictate a potential win can at least get them into a much, you know, favorable spot in a bigger name opponent. If they can win, you know, the Bay's family is a great example on this card. And we just spoke about Adrian Yanez. I think these are all three fighters that, you know, the UFC is kind of hoping for the best because they're very marketable and they're, they're very skilled. These are fighters that are exciting and fun to watch. And so, you know, if both the Bays can pull off wins and along with Adrian Yanez, we could be looking at the next crop of, you know, youthful prime based prospects that are going to be able to make their, name you know in 2021 in the ufc and i'm pretty excited right i think that monster has the has the potential to upset here but when you look at the lions and you look at the the the, the, the just the pure hype going into this fight i, I think shine Bay is just coming in with everything that you would expect a person of that caliber going into the fight of say you know a brand new ufc fighter who who's only seen again i i, I think the invicta uh Rain there has been pretty nice, but the Danielle Taylor loss, I watched that a couple of years ago, saw the highlights on Fight Pass. And, you know, I just think that this is going to be one where she's not able to kind of get those ground opportunities and kind of even showcase some of that boxing. It's just going to be a long fight. I think Baze is going to get in close and she's going to grind this out. Yeah, I think that's what she's going to be able to do best and, and we'll see how it goes. But, you know, I think the line, the line speaks for itself. And this is probably one of those fights where you're hoping for more excitement than you're really going to get. But, you know, I think may the best female win because I'm excited to see one of these ladies get their next shot. And, you know, all these female ranks are about to blow up with talent and it's going to be a fun 2021.